Oh, hallelujah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. He gave me everything we wanted in life. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Jake here, Tag and Terra, back again with the number two deck in the world. This Lava Hound deck is absolutely crushing it, so let's go jump straight to some games and show you why it's so strong. I upload daily videos on the channel, so make sure to subscribe so you never miss out. We got a game here, and it is no surprise we are going to go in for our Lava Hound as quickly as possible. Everyone that runs Lava Hound just drops Ouch. it right out of the gate. Unfortunately, the minions were not dropped quickly enough, and uh, we suffered heavy casualties in the left-hand lane. This man bamboozled me with the wall breakers, and I hate seeing that. But whenever you play against wall breakers, and oh, it's not the deck that I thought it was. He's not running the one with bomb tower that is always easy to beat. He's literally running near Dark Prince Ice Switcher. <laughs> Everything that I thought is flying out the window. My plans have changed. We are booking a trip towards this tower, and hopefully we can arrive at a proper destination. But if they've got Bomb Tower and they've got Wall Breakers, you win this matchup 100% of the time. But if they've got Tesla and Ice Wizard, well, things get really spicy quick. So I'm going to go for Arrows here. I don't think that's going to be extremely awesome, but as long as we don't have to respond to that Bomber anymore, I'm okay with it. I can vibe with it. I'm going to zap on that. He's going to lose the Goblins. He loses the Bomber, and we get some chip damage. So obviously, I need to drop my barbs because I cannot afford another wall breakers hit on my tower. It is against my religion to allow my opponent back into the lead for an astronomical degree. But it's okay. I think the barbs are actually going to get hits on the tower. Like, dude, that ice wizard, it's chilling. It's relaxing. It's vibing, bro. It's not actually defending. And you need some strong, hardcore defense up in here. So I'm going to go for Mega Minion with our minions. He's definitely still going to get a hit with that. And uh, it makes me... Oh! Okay! All right, I see you. Minions coming up clutch. I did not expect that at all. I really did not anticipate my units to be that good, but you know, they are out here. Okay, so we're gonna go for a balloon. I think we go in for a zap here, and then we arrows on top of the Tesla, or maybe we don't even need to. You Tesla dies to the bomber plus balloon. What are you gonna do? You're down so much elixir. Yeah, we finessed him. I did not expect that one at all. So he didn't have any elixir because he dropped a four elixir skeleton barrel on the right. And we definitely are in a good spot now. We can drop our barbs. Oh, no. It's got to happen again. Not again. He's dropping the Dark Prince. He's like, last time you evaded my grasp. But today, we get the dominance. So he wrecked my tower there. He did so much damage. But, you know, we're still in an okay spot. If I arrows and zap, I really want him to go wall breakers. He's listening to me! He heard my voice. He's like, Jake, you ask and you shall receive. I am Santa Claus. He's giving me all the presents I could ever ask for. So, as long as he doesn't clone, we're okay with this because we can just zap and we shut it down. So, you're going to go in for a really defensive skeleton barrel, which I haven't seen in a fat minute. Usually, that thing is postured on offense, but today, the tides are turning. I can arrows on top of the bomber, shut that down. I think that the Lob Hound slowly but surely is licking away at the lollipop of the tower, and slowly, we will secure the second tower with all the power. We get a 2-0 victory, and it felt so good. GG and well played, brother. It was a pleasure playing against you. All right, guys. We got a game here. When it's sauce out of good luck, we are blessed with the best starting hand possible. I love going for Lob Hounds in the back, because then they go opposite lane, and they're like, yeah, my mom always said apply opposite lane aggression when your opponent goes in for a lava hound. But this guy apparently did not get that lesson from his mother. He decided to go in the exact same lane with his wall breakers, giving me counter pressure and barbarians into him. This man is a legend, giving me all the value I could ever want. Oh, we can arrows on this too. If I arrows on the spear goblins in the match archer, it all goes kaboom and we don't have to worry about it anymore. Guys, is he going to go for wall breakers here? What is he going to do? I can minions. I... The reason why I'm in a minions is because I think he's going to try and defend at the same time. Oh, wow. He's going all over the place. He's dropping a wall breakers. One of them connected to my tower somehow. He dropped a knight on the left. Three for three trade. And we are up a ridiculous amount. Guys, this guy is decent at wall breaker cycle. But at the same time, when you have this type of matchup and your opponent only has a bomb tower to defend, you look at them and you smile and you're like, sir, what you going to do about this? We're going to go for a Lava Hound. I am ready to roll right through with my Rolls Royce of Lava Hound balloon pushes. And you won't be able to stop it. So, yet again, guys, the Knight is annoying because it's a three elixir investment and I have to respond to it most of the time. But I can just successfully wave my hand through, go in for a balloon and zap on top of this. So, those wall breakers connect, but the balloon makes its magic happen. You can't defend this successfully unless you have Tornado. 
Are you kidding me right now? I thought we were in the clear. I thought this man's end was near, but in honesty, this is not... Oh, wait. Look at the key tower. Oh, wait. Big brain play. Big brain play. We are going to evolve to Big Brian right now. Big Brian goes in for big plays only. And I'm going to go for a Lava Hound here. Ignore everything. Lose the tower and three crown him. Because that's what true Lava Hound players do. So I can go in for arrows here or I can go for barbs. I think barbs are slightly better. We should be able to shut down both of those wall breakers and not have to worry about it. And then get pressure in the left-hand lane that he has to respond to. I can follow up with a bomber. I can go in for a balloon. I'm going to shut that all down. I can arrows on top of the magic archer and the bomb tower at the same time. I don't know what this guy's going to do if we do this. It's going to be such a sad panda. Yes, you can get damage, but you're going to get three crown, my dude. Do you not understand the gravity of the situation? Do you not understand the entirety of spam that I'm spamming at you? <laughs> I love it. The bomber is going to lock onto the tower, and that is going to be nothing but net, baby. Oh, he's going to tornado it back? That means he has nothing for the balloon then. Bomber in the house. The barbs are on the tower. Guys, those minions are also going to lock and load. It doesn't even matter. I would love to three crown him, but he's not going to let me do it to him. GG, well played, and peace out. Oh, right as the buzzer beat, we three crowned him. I wasn't expecting that, just like I wasn't expecting the tornado. But, you know, we pulled it out at the end. Crazy games like this are always the most fun. And that guy was insanely good at the game. He was 740 in the world. I've never heard of him before. But, wow, he's a really good minor wall breakers player. All right, guys, we got a game against Hazard. We're going to sauce out a good luck and we're going to see what's up. He is a really good player, so I, I don't know if I can beat him. But we're going to Lob Hound in the back because it's the most skillless play that you can possibly do. And it's very fun. So we're going to Lob Hound in the back and we'll see what's up. If we have a good matchup, this will be stellar. If he's got Royal Hogs, well, we've got Bomber and Barbarian. So I'm really hoping he's got Royal Hogs. That's what I want to see. Or Royal Giant. Oh, that's not it. That is not it, Chief. So I'm going to go in for a zap on top of the balloon so he doesn't get the hit that he wants. Oh, please don't kill it. Please don't kill it. Oh, wait. No, he still doesn't get a hit. I don't even do anything. Mega Minion is our savior. I almost zapped for no good reason, guys. I was ready. I was like, might need to zap that. It was really close for comfort, but we were still ended up being comfortable at the end. All cozying up with our blankets. But you know what? He's just delivering a blanket of dominance with the rail recruits. Just spreading them out all over the map. And uh, I think we got to go in for minions here. Oh, this is not good. <laughs> We're sad. <laughs> I don't think I can win this anymore, guys. We're going to take it so much. But you know what? We're going to go for a Lava Hound ahead of those minions. Because that's what real players do. Real Lava Hound players, they don't defend. They just go full aggression. Who cares about your towers when you have Lava Hound? If we get a Hunter out of him, we balloon to the right. And then he's probably not going to have Elixir to deal with that. Like, you're, you have Zappies in the deck. We know that. But you don't have Zappies for a while. You can also Arrows on that. And then... Um, we're going to have the balloon on top of it, too, so we finish off the zappies. I think that's pretty good, right? We, we take that trade. Not the best trade in the world, but we get damage in both lanes, and we're about it. So, at this point in the game, he's just going to keep ballooning me, and I'm, I'm a little bit scared, not going to lie. Uh, if the hunter plus arrows or the hunter plus another small spell come down, we could be feeling the wrath. So... The way I'm going to play this is I'm going to go for a Lava Hound. I'm going to follow up with a Balloon. I'm going to sack the right-hand tower. I'm going to arrows on top of all this stuff. So that's what we're going to do. We are, we're definitely not defending the right-hand tower. It's gone. It is sent to the Shadow Realm, and I I don't have any care in the world about it anymore. Oh, I do now because he went for Kankart. He's trying to three-crown me. I see what you're doing here, and I don't like it one bit. So I'm going to go... Oh, the arrows, too. This is painful. I think we need to go Barbs, and then maybe even go in for a Mega Minion here. This is scary, though. This is extraordinarily scary. So the Cannon Card is going to die eventually, right? It's going to take a while, but it will fall. It will not be seen the light of day for any other way. So the Balloon's going to give us the hit that we needed. I can maybe even go for another Balloon here. I don't know. Do I go for a lot on in the middle? There's so many choices. I don't know what to do. Okay, I'm going to go for Barb's because he might Cannon Card in the middle. I think that he could go for a Cannon Card and then Balloon me. Just wanted to stop that avenue. Did not want to allow him to get that type of value. But arrows here. The Mega Minion is not going to give us what we need. So I need a Lava Hound in the middle. If I, if I can do that successfully, the Zappy ends up dying and the Barb gets tanked for. That's okay. Because we've got Mega Minion in the house. I can go for minions. He used his Cannon Cart. Let's go, baby. Come on. Give me the win that I definitely don't deserve. We're playing Lava Hound Balloon. <laughs> and it is so utterly skillless. I love it. So I'm going to go in for another Bomber here. We'll see what else he wants to do. He could go for a Cannon Cart and Balloon Me. And that's that's what I'm expecting, honestly. I, I feel like that's what's going to happen in the air tonight. 
Oh, also we can arrows and we can zap too. That's that's also decent. I'm just gonna go and do that. Shut down the cannon cart. And with the Mega Minion coming backward, he knows his place. He's like, Jake, I gotta defend you. I can't leave you stranded on an island with no food, water, or internet connection. We will be your savior. <laughs> and he comes back to me. So I'm gonna go for a balloon here. I think that we can get a hit. I don't know if the hunter's gonna do enough for him. He's gonna have to go for zappies. He's also gonna go in for arrows. Oh, come on, balloon. Just touch the tower once. Lick the lollipop, give me the win! Okay, he's gonna go for a cannon card here, so I make a prediction. Did do that correctly, and then I go for barbs. Wow, our predictions are on fire today! I mean, obviously that was a pretty, pretty standard prediction, but it worked out really well and it felt good. So I'm gonna arrows, I'm gonna go in for a Zapparino on top of those. I think that the balloon is gonna get a hit, or it's at least gonna give us death damage. Come on now, come on now. Just give me the win. Aww. He's got a cannon card in the middle, so we need to go for more barbs. He did it again. I need a zap, or I need the arrows, or I need the bomber to give us some damage. Come on, bomber, come on now. That's not enough, is it? I, I don't think that's enough. Two HP? No, don't do me like this! No! <laughs> It was brutal, but man, was that a fun game. We'll bounce on to the next one, and we will assert dominance there. Very well played by Hazard. He's a phenomenal player. Here we go, guys. We're going to suss out of good luck, and we're going to see what's happening. So I want to lob him in the back as my starting play because, well, if our opponent has anything to say about it, they're probably going to spam opposite lane and give us juicy, positive elixir trades. So he's going to have a Witch and a Valkyrie. That's not necessarily what I like to see. Please stop spamming anti-air counters, bro. Have some sanity here. So our Lava Hound went right into an Inferno Dragon and a Witch, and wow, we got melted quick. But at the same time, guys, we've got Barbarians in the house, so it's not the worst thing in the world. Oh, hallelujah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. He gave me everything we wanted in life. I did not think that we would get that excessive amount of value, but this guy, he stand and delivered. He gave me everything I ever wanted. So I'm going to go in for a Mega Minion in the back. I haven't seen better arrows than that in my life. Let me know in the comment section if you've seen anything like that before. That was a Witch, an Inferno Dragon, and a Minion Fort all together at once. So I'm going to go in for a Zap if you have anything like a Bats. But no, you're going for a Rocket. Dude, you probably don't have Elixir for the Blue now. We can swerve you right now. We went left, now we're going right. And you're not going to have any tower left in sight. So that balloon is going to lock and load onto the tower. You have Inferno Dragon, but you don't have enough Elixir for it immediately. See, we know your card cycle. We know what your anti-air cards are. And we know that we could definitely deny all damage on both sides while we just scrounge your tower. 666. And it might not feel pretty good, dude. It feels like it's burning up in here for you. So at this point of the game, I know that he's just going to keep spamming like a madman. But at the same time, all I need to do is get one more Lava Hound Balloon Push on the right-hand side, and I'll take tower. So... Loon just needs to get some death damage up in here. Oh, is the minion going to connect too? I'm going to zap for one extra hit maybe. Come on, baby. Yeah. So I had to cycle anyway. So like, well, if I cycle a little bit quicker before I hit 10, then I can also get another minion hit. So it adds up every little bit, baby. We are super savers. Oh, well, elite barbarians. You're not going to feel elite any longer. You're going to lose your helmets. You're going to lose everything. And you're going to get sent to the shadow realm for a negative lizard trade against your inferior cousins. Obviously, he's going to try to get that uh, minion horde down as quickly as possible. The damage is down, but our reactions weren't that fast. We were not that of a mobile gaming athlete, but in the next successive Lava Hound push, we will arrow faster. I definitely will do that. I won't mess up again. Sir, we will not disappoint. Oh, wow, you're going to giant. Okay, I guess we go for really high barbs just so we don't get everything fireballed if you randomly have that. I also can't successfully go in for arrows right now because I don't trust you. I, I think you're one to just go in for minion horde randomly. Yeah, there it is again. This guy is consistently trying to get... No, 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 the, the last the last Inferno Dragon. No, the double Inferno Dragon brothers, actually. Are they going to reset on the minions? Please reset on the minions. That's what I'm talking about, baby. This guy kept giving me value the entire game, and I am so glad we raced away with that one. That was a quality W. All right, guys, we got a game here. We're going to sauce out of good luck, and we're going to see what's happening. So we want to roll right through with the Lava Hound to get that chip damage that we love. You know, it might not just be chip damage, guys. It might be a fully-fledged offensive presence. If this guy goes off as a lane, we will unload with the balloon. But he's not going to. He's going to go... Oh, yes, he is. That's what I'm talking about. So we're going to bomber here. 
I can't really reliably defend this as easily as I want because I didn't have the barbs in cycle immediately. So I'm just going to take with what I can get. The bomber shuts it all down. We can go in for a mega minion to counter the electro wizard. And I think I go for dual lane aggression. We've got the bomber plus the balloon in the house. The alliteration of the bees. We're bouncing all over that tower, baby. That's definitely going to get a hit no matter which. Oh, come on. Don't electro spirit me. Don't do this to me. You sir. You savage. I said it was definitely going to get a hit. And he's like, Jake, you are sorely and gravely mistaken. So when we play against a Fireball Rail Giant Tech, it's a way more difficult matchup when your opponent has that opposed to them just having Earthquake. Earthquake, they can't counter the barbs. But not only that, he went for a Rail Giant with a Fireball deck. And also, I didn't have my barbs in cycle for the first iteration of his Rail Giant. So things are not looking up for me right now. But, you know, we still have the Lava Hound here. His Fireball's not back in cycle, so I can successfully follow up with the Barbarians now. And he doesn't realize that those are even on the menu for me because it didn't work out the first time so i guess the second time maybe it was more unexpected for him and so that's what we're talking about guys it was all calculated we had the worst hand possible so he never expected that we even had a counter that's what happened right there our hand was so bad that it helped us has that ever happened to you guys in clash your because he's like this guy is not stupid enough to hold his barbarians in his hand and little did he know, I just didn't have the Barbarians, bro. <laughs> they just weren't there. <laughs> so he got completely screwed over by that. That's hilarious. So I can just go for a zap, make sure that the Mega Minion stays alive a little bit longer to finish off the Battle Healer. You're not able to heal up anything, baby, if we shut it all down. So remember, he's got Fireball, so I'm not going to go and give him the Fireball value with the Barbs. We're just going to go for Minions instead. And if you go in for an Electro Wizard, that's fine. I can go in for a Lava Hound here. We can snag the right hand tower. We can work away our magic sauce with the Mega Minion on top of the Electro Wizard. And you still don't snag a single tower. We're going to have all the power in the world. We'll double the tower, double the dominance. I can arrow that and focus it down at any point. I want to go in for Barbarians now just so the Fish Boy doesn't lock on. We know he's going to Fireball, and I'm okay with that. Wait, are you not going to Fireball in time? Oh, you are going to Fireball in time. I see you. I see you. With 23 seconds remaining, all we need to do is hold the door in the left-hand lane, and we walk away with the win. I'm going to go in for the best offense possible with a Lava Hound in the middle so the minions do not get locked on. The minions still got locked on, dude, because I wasn't fast. I was not a mobile gaming athlete. We need to stag the tower, and if we do, we will walk away with the win because we can go for barbs on top of the Royal Giant, drop a Zapparino, and drop that Royal Giant like he's hot. And that's not happening, brother. You are a potato, and you were dropped, and you are never going to be back in this game. And that's actually where we're going to end today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to hit me up with a juicy, spicy thumbs up. And if you're new here, consider subscribing for more content just like this. Thanks for watching. Thanks for chilling with me. And I'll see you guys in the next one.